With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is: the densities of wood and benzene at zero degrees Celsius are 880 kg per meter cube and 900 kg per meter cube respectively. The coefficient of volume expansion are 1.2 into 10 raised to the minus 3 per degree Celsius for wood and 1.5 into 10 raised to the minus 3 per degree Celsius for benzene. At what temperature will a piece of wood just sink in benzene? Okay. So what we have been given in the question that the densities of wood, densities of wood is how much? 880 kg per meter cube and density of benzene is given to us is 900 kg per meter cube. These densities are given to us at a temperature of Zero degree Celsius. Okay, we are also given that the coefficient of volume expansion of benzene and coefficient of volume expansion for wood, and it is one point two into ten raised to the minus three per degree Celsius, and for benzene it is one point five into ten raised to the minus three per degree Celsius. We have been asked that at what temperature the piece of wood just sank in the benzene. So let us suppose at temperature T. Let us suppose. At temperature T, the wood will just sink in. Wood just sink into sink in benzene. Okay, so we will use the concept of flotation over here. That let us suppose this is our container containing benzene. Okay, containing benzene. This is the piece of wood and benzene. Correct. Now the weight of the wood will act vertically downward, and the balancing force will act vertically upward. So the condition of just sink it will happen only when the balancing force balances the weight of wood. Correct. If the balancing force is greater than the weight of wood, then it will Float and when the balance force is less than the weight of wood, then it will sink. Okay, so the condition of the just sink, the balance force will be equal to the weight of the wood. Okay, now let us consider. Let the volume of wood as one meter cube. Okay, so what will be the weight? Weight of wood. Weight of wood will be mg. Correct. This much of newtons. Now the mass is given as density into volume. Correct. Into g newtons. Correct. The density of wood is given as 880 into volume. We have considered as one meter cube, so it will be 880 into g newtons. Or what we can say from here is the weight of wood is equals to 880 g newtons. Let us suppose equation number. One, okay. So we have considered T at which the wood just sink into the benzene. So what will be the final volume after the increment of the temperature from zero to T degree Celsius? Correct. So the volume of wood after increment will be given as initial volume of wood into one plus gamma of wood into delta T. Correct. Now the initial temperature given to us was zero degree Celsius, and final temperature we have considered as T degree Celsius. So The change in the temperature delta T will be T two minus T one, that is T minus zero. So from here delta T will be T. Correct. Now the final volume of wood will be equals to one into one plus the coefficient of volume expansion for wood was given as one point two into ten raised to the power minus three into the change in the temperature we have calculated as T. So the final volume of wood will be. One plus one point two into ten raised to the minus three t. Now this is the final volume of the wood that just sink into the benzene. So the final volume mm, will be equal to the volume displaced of the benzene. Correct. So the volume displaced will be equal to the volume of wood finally after the increment in the temperature, and it will be one plus one point two into ten raised to the minus three t. Let us suppose this is equation number two for us. Okay. So after the temperature increment, the volume of benzene will also expand. Correct. So what we can say from here, the final volume of benzene will be equal to the final 
initial volume of benzene into 1 plus gamma of benzene into delta T. Correct. Now, as we know that density is varies with volume like this. Correct. That is inversely proportional. So, from here what we can say is the final density of benzene will be equal to 1 upon initial density of benzene into 1 plus gamma of benzene into delta T. So, from here what we get is the final density of benzene as the initial density of benzene divided by 1 plus gamma of benzene into delta T. Correct. Now, the initial density of benzene was given as 900 divided by 1 plus gamma of benzene is given as 1.5 into 10 raised power minus 3. The change in the temperature is T. Correct. So, this is the density of the benzene after the, after the increment in the temperature. Now, the condition of the just sink, what we get is the buoyancy force is equal to the weight of the wood. Correct. Now, the buoyancy force is given as the density of liquid or the benzene into G into the volume displaced will be equal to weight of the wood. Correct. Now, the density of benzene we have calculated in the equation number 3. So, it will be 900 divided by 1 plus 1.5 into 10 raised power minus 3 into T into G into volume displaced we have calculated in the equation number 2 that is 1 plus 1.2 1 plus 1.2 into 10 raised power minus 3 T correct and the weight of the wood we have calculated as 880 G correct so from here the acceleration due to the gravity got cancelled out correct so what will the equation 900 into 1 plus 1.2 into 10 raised power minus 3 T divided by 1 plus 1.5 into 10 raised power minus 3 T will be equals to 880. So, on solving this, we get the temperature T coming as approximately 83 degree Celsius. Okay. So, at this temperature, the wood will just sink into the benzene. Hence, it is the required answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.